Welcome back to Troll Plays. I'm so glad you guys have tuned in. Today, I want to talk about console alerts. So one of my biggest videos, or two of my biggest videos, are streaming straight from the Xbox One and straight from the PS4. The drawbacks to streaming straight from your console is that whenever somebody subs or follows or donates any of that stuff, you don't get an alert because you can't use something like OBS for the alert overlays. But thanks to a Twitch extension, which runs in your browser from owned TV, O W N 3D.tv, uh, this free extension. Did you say free? Yeah, yeah, free, free extension uh, allows you to have console alerts. So when someone follows their name pops up on the screen, uh, I've got this question a lot about how to set up alerts for console streaming. People that don't want to use OBS or don't have a PC to utilize OBS. So we're going to jump onto the PC. I'm going to show you how to install this extension and get it set up. And then we're going to test it out to show you guys that it actually works. Stick around. Welcome to the PC. So to get this extension installed again, it's just a Twitch extension that runs in your browser. Uh, all you have to do is install it through your Twitch account. So we're going to open up Twitch and go ahead and log in to the account that you want the alerts to be seen on. Uh, I'm using this on my test account. If you go up to the top right where your account is and go down to creator dashboard over on the left, you're going to see extensions. If this is minimized like this, you can maximize it. Or if you know what they are, just click on extensions. You're going to see discovery and my extensions. So discovery is where you find all kinds of cool Twitch extensions to help your stream flare up. Uh, my extensions are the ones that you have installed. So if I look at my extensions, there's nothing installed. We're going to do this from scratch. So head back to discovery. What you're going to look for is owned.tv. So O W N 3D. They have two extensions here. One is for uh, design panels. The other is free stream alerts. I'm going to click install on the free stream alerts. Uh, this doesn't require any type of extra account or anything like that. So you're good to go. Extension is installed successfully. It will not display on your page until it's activated on the extensions page. Not only does, that, does this have to be installed, but you need to also configure it and make it active on your page. So I'm just going to hit continue browsing for now, because when you configure this, sometimes you forget to activate it. So we're going to go back to my extensions. Now we see installed here is the free stream alerts from owned.tv. Also, you see activated. Nothing here is activated. So I'm going to go to activate set as overlay one. If you already have other extensions, uh, it may be overlay two, overlay three. Uh, they just kind of the numbers increase as you install extensions. We'll click done. And then we're going to configure. When you go to configure, you're going to see uh, the alerts uh, extension pop up. You're going to see what's called the theme store and don't get scared. I did say free. So what this is is own.tv actually has a subscription package that you can subscribe to. Uh, they call it the premium license. If you sign up for a premium license, I'm not sure of the price. Uh, they're not a sponsor, so this isn't for them, uh, but you do get three themes for free. And then down here, you can see all the other ones that you can install as well. If you are a premium license holder, uh, if you have a premium license, you can redeem your license. If not, we're going to use these three free ones. I'm just going to click on pixel and install theme pack. So this is going to actually install this theme onto my overlay. So the alerts will have a certain pixel esque type of theme to them. And then I'm going to go to the alert configurator. You can open a preview window here so you can see what this is actually going to look like. I'm going to make this small so we can see it. And in the alert variations, you can change the text. So, if someone follows, you can say someone is now following. You can also have a subtitle. So I'm going to say, welcome to the big leagues. And I'm going to save that. Uh, subscriptions are the same. The curly brackets around the name just tells you that it's going to be substituted later for the name of the person that subscribed. So you can use that freely. It doesn't have to be the first thing you could say. Uh, thanks for the sub name and say we like your monies i'm gonna save that so now we can kind of test these here 
So we had the preview window open. If not, click open preview. It should just be a green screen. Uh, the browser extension Chroma keys this out for you so you don't have to do all this yourself. I'm gonna test to follow. Give it a second to register. Yeah, Zblick is now following. Welcome to the big leagues. And the other one was a subscription. Give it a second to register. Thanks for the sub, whatever your name is. We like your monies. So you see how configurable this is. Uh, again, if you have their premium license, you get a lot more options, uh, overrides and event settings, but it's gonna ask you, hey, you need a license for that. If you're trying to get away for doing this for free, the three free, the three free theme packs, say that fast, uh, are available to you, no cost. I don't have an account on owned.tv, so an account is not necessary to use these extensions. They've just allow you to use these for free, which is fantastic. So I can close this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my page. I'm going to go to my channel and I'm actually streaming Fall Guys straight from my PS4. So this is not OBS. This is nothing fancy. This is straight from the PS4. So when you go to your channel, you're going to notice here on the right that the extension is enabled. Free stream alerts, followers, subs, all that is enabled. That's another indicator that you know that that extension is installed properly and ready for you to go. So to test this out, I'm actually going to sign out of my test account and into my real account. And then I'm going to follow this account so you can see the extension work properly. So let me log out and back in. I'll be right back. All right. So now that I'm logged into my real account, I'm still on the stream that I had before. So this is my test account streaming from the PS4. Notice I do not follow this account. So I'm going to click the follow button. Give it a second to register. Joel plays is now following. Welcome to the big leagues, just like we set up. So there you go. Now, if you need to uninstall the extension, I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So go back to the account that you have the extension installed on. I'm going to head back to the creator dashboard. Extensions. Go to my extensions. Here on the activated overlays, you're going to see this. So you can deactivate or uninstall. So I'm going to uninstall this. And there you go, it's uninstalled. So if you're streaming from your PS4 and then later you decide you wanna use OBS or something more fancy, you wanna make sure that that extension is uninstalled so you're not doubling the uh, alerts for your stream. Anyway, that's it. Very simple, straightforward. Hopefully this video was extremely helpful to you. If you are a console streamer, uh, PS4, Xbox, uh, so far those are the only consoles that allow you to stream directly from the console. I hope this uh, free extension is something that you're looking for to get some flair to your streams, uh, keep people engaged. People love seeing their name pop up on the screen for an alert uh, when they follow or sub. So go out there, get your stream on, get some subs, some donations, some follows, uh, make your dreams a reality. You can do it. Love you all. Peace.